this is Heather Hoffman and today I have a simple way to add kind of a fun watercolor background detail on a card, um, leaving it kind of a freestyle look but um, still keeping it as a, I don't know about you, I have a hard time just making a circle freehand, it's hard to keep it straight. So I'm starting off, I just have a circle um, that I die cut from a panel of cardstock. I just save the negative to use as a stencil and I'm carefully penciling it in. You could also use the bottom of a cup or a bowl or something that's just the right size and just really softly draw that onto a piece of watercolor paper with a pencil. Now I chose to use to make my watercolor background, I just did yellows and oranges. This would be really pretty in um, blues and greens and pinks and purples. Um, you could pretty much pick any color that you wanted. Um, it's also really fun to use for like a galaxy background um, to make like a little night sky scene or anything like that. Um, but what I'm just doing is going around um, and using that circle that I drew on with the pencil kind of as a guideline. I am kind of going over it a little bit and inside and I'm just kind of building up my color. I started with the yellow I wanted to use and I uh, made it deeper on the outside edges and then kind of thinned it down with some water and then you can see I'm adding water on just to kind of help it all flow and mesh together. And then I went into an orange and now I'm going into an even deeper orange. And as I go around I just um, quickly get, hit the outline of the circle just kind of using my pencil line as a guide. And then I'll come in with more water and kind of blend it in towards the center um, once I've gotten all the way around the edges. And you just keep building up color until you're kind of happy with the way it looks. And see, I dripped a little bit in the middle there, so I just added some water to kind of blend it out and soften it. And at this point, I wanted to go a little deeper with my color, so I came in with a little more yellow in the middle. And again, um, just keep adding water to, to blend together and let it all kind of um, mesh and flow together. Once I finish all of this, um, this color and get it to where I'm happy and I like it, I'm going to set it aside to air dry. You can use a heat tool to speed up the setting up, but uh, I, I really do like the way it dries on its own naturally. So if you have time, um, I definitely recommend doing that. And before you get to the next step, you want to make sure it's really, really, really thoroughly dry. Because um, I'm going to come in really gently with an eraser to erase what little you can still see of the pencil line. So make sure it's nice and dry, otherwise you'll peel up um, your cardstock and ruin the whole thing that you just worked on. So there we go, I'm happy with it now, I'm going to set it aside to dry. Now it's bone, bone dry at this point, and I'm just using an ordinary pink eraser. You can use an artist eraser or anything if you have something fancier, but as long as you're nice and gentle on your touch with it, um, just a normal pink school eraser works great for this. And for the most part, you can't really even see that pencil line much. I went over it a little with my watercolor, but just to make sure it's completely gone, I like to go in with an eraser and just soften, soften it out a little bit. Now I'm using a super cute stamp set called One Crazy Bird. It's got the, the funniest little bird on it. Um, and I'm going to just use that circle kind of as a, um, a focal point for the card. And I'm stamping the image and sentiment slightly overlapping off the sides of it. Um, I'm using just black Versamark ink. This is watercolor paper. So I really like to use my Misty to be able to stamp it multiple times to get a nice dark impression. Um, if you use the reverse of the watercolor paper where you don't have as much texture, it will stamp a little easier and you'll have an easier time getting a clear image, but I wanted the texture of the watercolor paper on this card, so I was willing to put up um, with the little bit more challenge of the texture. And then as one finishing touch on this, um, a lot of the bird stamps that have the big adorable eyes like this, I like to, as a final finishing touch, just add a good coat of glossy accents over the eyeballs. Um, it just makes them pop and shine a little bit when it dries and I love the added little bit of detail that it gives without too much extra effort and it just makes those eyes pop out a little more than they already do. There you go, set it aside to dry, mount it on a colored card base and then I did um, just draw a line with a ruler and a black pen around the outside just to kind of ground and uh, keep the image together. Thanks so much for coming by today, have a wonderful day!